Hey guys, it's Baron here. Today I'm gonna. Oh my god, no! You can only go for the jumper. That's all. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Baron here. Today I'm gonna talk about bird ownership and having a macaw. Now, having macaw is not the simplest of tasks. Having a macaw is quite advanced. You need to have a bit of bird experience. Me, myself, I've grown up with birds since I was a little kid. I've had budgies, weiros, um, we've had a ring, ring necks. So we've had like a massive aviary of birds. I've always grown up with animals. I've always grown up with birds. Um, once I start, sort of started moving on, I got my own birds. I got lorikeets. Um, I got other ring necks. I got alexandrines. I got Cosmo there collectors, so I lost my Alexandrine. She sort of flew off, and I'm still sort of looking for her. It was 2016 that I lost her, but I, I remain hopeful that she's still alive in the area because there were birds of her breed around. Um, but having a macaw takes a whole different pre like precinct of responsibility. If you're going to have a macaw or get a macaw or even think about getting a macaw, make sure you're in the right financial stability and mentally stable and ready to take on the challenge of a macaw. They are quite needy. As you can see, she always wants to be with me. I put her outside. I've got him outside at the moment. Um, they've been out there for the last few days. I usually bring him inside because it's really freaking cold and I myself wouldn't want to sleep outside in the cold. So I don't really like my animals staying out in the cold. I've been, sort of been training her to be a little bit more quiet because she's quite loud, um, macaws are loud, they are loud birds, so if you want to take on the challenge of getting macaw, just please note they are loud and they do cause a bit of a ruckus. When you go out, they will scream. She screams when I leave. She hates hearing my car start up when the front door opens. Um, she just, she hates it. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going on to the ownership of like a macaw or birds in general. I've started off, like I said, with ringnecks, budgies, uh, cockatiels, so weiros, um, and so forth. As you can see, she's very touchy. This jumper, I don't usually wear this jumper. I've only got it on because she likes to chew on jumpers, and when she sees this one, she knows that she can chew on it. Other jumpers, not so much. My Rick and Morty jumpers, definitely not. Definitely not. Hey, Millie. Hey, Millie. <laughs> yeah, it's silly. It's very silly, yeah. Oh, yes. But to the ownership of macaws, um, you have to be, I'd say you'd have to be quite advanced with birds as well. You would have to know how to own one. You'd have to know how to care for them, um, treat them, feed them. She has, she lives on a diet of pellets. Well, she has a diet of pellets. She has fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, peanuts, nuts. Um, I give a millet as well. Not her, not so much because it's small. Um, but I do give it to her. She does enjoy and ripping it apart. So I pretty much give her things to rip apart. I give her wooden toys. So be warned as well. If you are going to get toys from a core, get plenty of them. Okay? Get wood. Make sure they have a leather um, like lining. So like when you see wood, um, it'll be on a chain or they'll have rope twining on it. Rope twining, I wouldn't really go for that. Um, if you're going to get a toy and it's got rope twining on it, take the rope off. Just take it off. Um, if they've got leather on it, it's not too bad because they can actually, it's sort of um, viable for her as uh, a macaw, obviously, because she's got such a strong beak, like crazy strong, um, that you get something that can take the punishment of their beak. So you get the wood toys as well because they love to rip stuff apart. They love ripping stuff apart and just attacking stuff. Not attacking it, but just having a go at it because obviously it's their form of... Um, um, I don't know what you, how you'd call it, I can't remember the word, but it keeps them mentally capacitated, like not capacitated, but keeps them mentally stable and help, happy and healthy. As you can see, she loves playing with me at the moment. She just, she's a little bit of a, a fun one. Um, but she is pretty, they are quite clingy as well. And remember, this is an investment of like 50 to 60 years or more, give or take, depends. Um, but yes, like I said, they are an investment. You have to invest your life to them. You. What pisses me off and what annoys me, I'm sorry to swear, is that people get birds and they think they're going to be stable and they're going to be like good straight up. No, they take time, okay? 
I've had him for two, three years. I had a partner previously, and he was quite attached to it. Didn't like me so much. My other three birds, I got two lorikeets <laughs> and a ring neck. They're actually quite close to each other, but if you let them out, they sort of fight a little bit. So they're in their cage, and they can still talk to each other, which is quite weird because the ring neck loves the um, lorikeets. And he's got one, he's got a thing for one of them at the moment. And they're all guys, like they're all males, except for her, they're all males. So, um, yeah, it, it's so weird. I've lost my train of thought. But yeah, going on to the McCaw ownership, he has taken a while to warm up to me. Like I've had him for two or three years and he's sort of like, Eclecticus aren't a close touchy bird. They're sort of just like, they like, they like to be around, but they don't like to be hugged or anything. So him in the last... 12 months or so since um, I've been by myself. He's warmed up to me quite weirdly as well, like sexually. Um, he'll mate, try and mate with my hand. He'll regurgitate for me. Um, and he just gets clingy. Like when I bring her inside, I have to bring him inside. Otherwise, he just causes a ruckus and racket. Um, as you can see, you can't be afraid with macaws as well, uh, in animals and birds in general. See, as you can see, she's grabbing my finger. I'm not afraid. She knows it, and she's not going to hurt me. I know she's not going to hurt me. If she does, I don't really pay attention to it. As you can see, my finger's in her mouth. It's fine. It's cool. She likes it because she knows I'm playing with her. And this, that's from her claws. I have to get them trimmed. I have to get them, like, filed down a bit. She doesn't like it that much, but, <laughs> um, yeah. So, like I said, they're an investment. And if you're going to get a bird, like a macaw, don't expect them to be good straight away. They take a while for the bonding process. Do what you can to bond with them. Feed them from your hand. Bring them inside. Spend time with them. Obviously, spend time with them all the time, as much as you can. Um, I just bring her inside when I'm watching TV. She likes to chill out. Um, actually, no, she doesn't. She just likes to do this. But if you're going to get a bird like this, please be considerate of the bird because they know life changes. They know how things work. They... To them, you're, you're life changing. That's just life. That's just moving, right? So if you're going to get a bird like this and your circumstances change, you have a kid or you can't pay attention to it, but like you can pay attention to it, but not as much, the bird understands. It knows that life, like the cycle of life. So to them, nothing changes, okay? They still love you. They, like they have unconditional love for you. They are still bonded to you. So if you're going to get one, make sure you're not going to have any plans throughout, like, within the immediate future. If you are, don't get rid of the bird. Keep it. Keep it as a friend. Keep it. Always, like, spend as much time as you can with it. If you can't, that's that's okay. Have it inside in the cage with you. Just, you got to pay attention to them, but obviously they know life changes. So different circumstances happen. You have a job, you have a life, you have a kid, whatnot, but don't get rid of the bird or the animal in general because they become so bonded and attached to you that it's, unfair on them if you get rid of them they start plucking they stress they go through a whole life of stress they need to be out in the light they you can have them inside but they need to have a um a rich life as you can see she's pretty happy at the moment I, like i have her in like nearly all day most times and him as well they love being inside she loves being inside she hates going outside don't you hey yes you do you hate going outside yeah you do but please, if you're going to get them a core or any sort of bird, make sure you're ready. Always get as much advice as you can. That's the one thing that you need is advice and help. If you're not sure, get advice and help. And if you don't think you're ready, don't get it. Okay? Just don't get them. If you're going to get something, start small, like a ring neck like me. But you're still, if you're going to go bigger, you're going to have to accommodate for all the birds, for all the animals. They're just... They're a bunch of love in your life, and you got to love them. They may be annoying, but you have to love them. You can't hurt them. You can't abuse them. You can't do any of that, because obviously, they don't see what's different, do they? No, they don't. Oh, oh, you're silly. See, she's grabbing quite hard now, but that's not too bad. No, no, no. You're hurting my hand now. But yes, guys, that is pretty much the basics. There's more to it. If you guys have any questions comment down in the section below i'm more than happy to answer questions for you guys hey guys baron here again um so i'm just adding a little bit onto this video i've recorded this like three times didn't have audio so here it goes um patience patience is another big thing so 
Obviously, you can't rush the bonding process. You're going to want to um, let the bird sort of um, relax into an environment, let it calm down, let it come to you. Um, you can give it treats, nuts, berries, uh, fruit, anything that birds can have, really. As you can see, she's come back over. Hello. Um, but peanuts as well. Um, but yeah, don't try and rush it. Let the bird work at its own pace. Always spend time with it um, as much as you can anyway. Birds know that life is like changes, I guess. Um, as well as having space for a bird or a macaw. So having a space for smaller birds, it's not too bad. But having space for a macaw is another thing. So obviously they're going to need a bit of space to fly around. My girl flies around the house all the time. I take her outside. And I let her out of the cage sometimes. She's not too bad with being out of the cage at the moment outside. Um, but yeah, do not, if you're not sure about any, don't trust your bird, don't do it. Um, although I'm sort of trying to free flight train her a little bit. She's not too bad inside, but I want to try and test her in a bigger environment. Um, but yeah, pretty much just experience is the biggest key in confidence, I guess, to, just to say. Um, so, having other advice of other um, bird handlers, macaw owners, going to Facebook pages is the best thing that I can suggest and going to bird shops, uh, pet stores, ask someone who's experienced with birds, who's actually got a decent amount or obviously shows experience of having um, hand handling birds. Um, as well, if you're in Australia, you need an avian license. It's not too hard. Um, whoever you're buying the bird off should explain it to you and set you up. If you're not too sure, um, yeah, ask someone. I'm saying I'm a lot. Ask someone about it. She just bit me a little bit. wasn't too bad. But yeah, ask someone about it. Get as much advice as you can. Avian license aren't that big of a deal. They're not like that much. They're not that hard to get, really. So, yeah, it only costs like twenty dollars a year for certain species. It, I think, it, it all depends. You'll have to have a look if you're in Australia. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just get informed, have the information you need about the bird you want to get. And they all obviously require different levels of um, expertise and experience. So yeah, if you need any questions answered, happy than more than happy to answer them. Just comment down in the section below and thanks for watching guys. Peace. Hope you enjoyed.